Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Hotful Boyfriend. Hotful Boyfriend was recently re-released on Steam with an HD version. I've played this game a few times in the past, along with its kind of spin-off semi-sequel Christmas edition. So rather than drag through all the scenes I've already gone through, I'm just gonna skip straight to one of my most favorite routes. And I'll be skipping out scenes that don't pertain to that character for the most part. Oh, I'm supposed to help at the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep them waiting. I better hurry. Hopefully I don't trip and show my pantsu. Salutations, manly. Yuya, you're here too? What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me. But no, I'm the second in command. As in command as you can be when with this mad doctor. Which is not very much. You are? I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, Mon Me. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Thank you for informing me of that, bird. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally, I'd do that. But today, I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? I think I sound a little too anime girl. I think I need a proper cute moe voice for this, so I'm gonna switch it up a bit. Of course. My thanks, Manly. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu. Yuya flutters out the door. Did he just ask me out? Oh, my Doki Doki is going so... Doki Doki. Anyway, cleaning. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? It feels more like it belongs in some kind of horror game. Preferably with zombies or ever some other cliché. Huh? The desk drawer is open, and there are files sticking out. As every good protag, I must go and pry into other people's business. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up. Yuya did say not to go near the desk, but... I think I'll... Just putting the files back in order should be fi- You again. Doctor, when did you? I don't call him the ninja doctor for nothing. I just got back, but oh my, we do have sticky fingers, don't we? That's not it. Sakazaki asked me to clean. Clean? Oh, I see. You're on the staff now. Y yes Did he say anything about going near the desk? Y yes, sir. Please, do be more careful next time. Curiosity killed the cat. Among other things. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's never do that again. No, let's totally do that again. Cause Yander Moy. Ah, uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Just chilling out in my cave. You know, nothing hanging on the walls because it's a cave. No indoor heating or cooling. 
occasionally being bitten in my bats. Makes you feel like Batman, at least. Oh, tomorrow's a class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, hell first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to? Hmm. What is it, senpai? Break isn't over yet. Um, I wanted to talk to you, sir. And also I want to talk to you about this song which sounds suspiciously like a certain song, you know, that came out of the West that... You know, it was from like the early 2000s or 90s, so it was kind of everywhere. Your friends are all here. Why not talk with them? Do you not want to talk to me? I mean, do you not want to talk to me? Aren't I moi? No, that, that's not what I meant. You're a... Funny... Girl. Senpai. Wait, no, I haven't said anything yet. And so I took a nap with Mr. Nanaki. I wonder if he has some sort of illness. I hope he's okay. Sleepy boy. Today's a sport festival, and I'm just feeling ganky. This. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Salutations. Did you come to gaze into my eyes, mon ami? Um, I heard the cool doctor character was here, and I really don't care about you. Salutations. Alas, spurned for the sake of medicine, I must work harder to prove. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Uh, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Because it's adorable. Beyond me, mon ami, I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree, some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from the school will get scouted by pro sports teams. So maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Uh-oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. And so I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent, I think. You again. Are you ill? No, I just wanted to see you because you're so beautiful. Those feathers. Look at that highlight around your eyes. Doki Doki. Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... I wanted to hear your voice. It must be as moy as you are. My voice. Yes, you sound like Snufkin. 
Mustafkin. And... Um... Don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? You're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated. How I'd love to experiment on you. Mmm, experiments. Sadly, I am busy at the present. Please, go elsewhere. Okay. I got kicked out. My feelings ever reached Senpai? I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction. Or is it? Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's a lot here already. Any birdie I know while I'm here, you know, making bird puns? Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monami. Shut up, Yuya. Into the trash it goes. Hmm. Just who will be granting my wish and how? My husband, though. What should I wish for? I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, Senpai? Mr. Nanaki, I don't care about you. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I think I'll be pretty fine, you know. Uh, if my only friend are other birds, and if a gang of birds with little knives comes out of like the alley, I think I just, you know, kick him like a football and send him flying. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um, I don't know. No, thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Was it the Key Mania IDDX public playlist during today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to the infirmary. Hey, Manly! What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much. Just, have you heard of the Seven Mysteries of St. Pigeonations, Manly? Yeah. Well, there's one that says sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary, only to show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens in the school store. Sounds like an urban legend to me. It does, but Dr. Iomene is awfully pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but... Well, you're a girl, man. What does that mean? I'm a little worried. That's true. I'll be careful. Miona has always been one to overthink things. Anyway, can't keep Yuya waiting. Excuse me? Huh? Yuya and the doctor are talking about something. Like maybe they're talking about death flags. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? 
You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I have told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look good. Um. Manly, there you are, mon ami. Manly can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, Doctor. Right, mon ami? Just what is going on here? Stop fighting! Pretty birds can't be fighting. You must be united. So I can ship you to... And stuff. Yeah. It sounds like the doctor suspects Yuya of having searched his desk while he was out. I came f straight from the classroom to here, so Yuya's obviously lying. I... Done the liar. You dare lie to my husband, though. Put your head on a stick. I don't even know what's going on, yet I just can't lie for my teeth. No, I was in my classroom until just now. Ryota was there too. Yuya is lying. Shit. Not so charming now, are you, birdie? Well done, Miss Senpai. I'm glad our new assistant is so astute. What a pity, Yuya. It would seem that you are somewhat in lacking basic truthfulness. I think we need to have a long, serious discussion. Alone. Sounds sexy. I'm sorry, Miss Senpai, could you leave? This is important. I got kicked out again. Yuya's face looked pretty bad. Dr. Romanius praised me, but... What on earth is going on? Yuya was never seen alive again. Some say he might have become the cafeteria food. For there was an extra serving of chicken that day. So that's it for Hataful Boyfriend Part 1. Aside from a certain secret character, Shu is my favorite bird out of all of them, and has probably one of the more out there stories, especially considering this is a visual novel about birds and pigeons. But you know, he's a little bit quirky, but I think he's got a good heart, you know, and he's got his intentions in the right place in the end, so you know, it's not too bad. It's kind of more, you know. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the Shoe Route Part 2.